pregnancy okay. announcement gone wrong. You got a surprise for you. You can open your present, okay? What present? Ta-da. What is this for? <laughs> open it. Open it. What is a present for? Because we love you so much. Mm -hmm. Come on, I'm going to stop. Just <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you had something up your sleeve, huh? You had a trick up your sleeve. What is this? What did it say? Ah! I don't want to be a sister. Open the rest of the gift. <laughs> what did it say? Nothing. Are you having a baby? Yes. No! And nobody yeah, says a sister. A we don't know if it's a boy or a girl. You're going to be a big sister. I don't want to. <laughs> 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 I don't want to be a baby. I don't want to. Why not? I don't want one. Milan. You're not going to love me anymore. Yes, I am. I'm going to love you just the same. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I, I don't know why I said I wanted a baby and glad a baby. You got babies upstairs. I know, what's the difference? Did you read the onesie? Look, you can play with the onesie with your baby now. Look at it. Yeah, I don't want to <laughs> Milan. Will you love me still? Yes. Every video I watch, they don't love the oldest child. They do. But if I'm a bigger sister, I'm gonna die before the what? Uh, no, no, I don't like this at all. Is this it? Is this uh, are you actually having a baby? Am I am I overreacting? Is this a dream? Pitch me. Come on. Uh, I want to talk about this video a friend sent this to me and she sent it with the caption that says something like this is you and I thought this is me I thought I did you know I thought she found some video of me out there or something and then I watched the video and my heart poured out for this little girl because I can empathize with her and I see issues and I'm going to share that with you I'm going to give you a little bit of background as I understand it. I might be wrong. If I am wrong, there's still parts of this that you can take. From what I understand, that man that's in that video is not that little girl's father. And he is also not married to her mother. So you're, there's so much wrong with this to me. First of all, gaslighting the little girl, telling her, to, you know, I have a present for you. That's not a present for her. That's you. And then asking her, well, what's the difference between us having a baby and your dolls upstairs? Like, no, don't do that. You know there's a difference. You can leave one in the house for a year and come back to it and everything will be the same. You leave another one in the house for a year and come back to it. You're going to prison for, you know, neglect and, and first degree something when the little girl says when she first you know starts to throw a temper tantrum and say you're not gonna love me anymore and she says everything I see that the oldest child nobody likes them anymore she has a valid concern um when I was I want to say about 14 my mother uh got pregnant by this white man she was in love with and at that particular time, I think she sent, I was, I was sent to go live with my grandmother so she could see if that relationship would work out. And it didn't. Uh, but before it didn't, she got pregnant by him and I'm a fully black woman, unambiguous black woman. And I threw a similar ten, temper tantrum. I cried. I said, you're not going to love me anymore. The baby's not going to love me because I'm black. 
I, I just had a whole panoply of reasons why this wasn't a good idea. And she tried to reassure me that, you know, babies love you no matter what, blah, blah, blah. And the little girl reminds me of me for so many reasons. So anybody that's new here, I, I struggle with uh, a few mental health diagnoses, one of which is major depress depressive disorder, but the other relevant one is borderline personality disorder. And you can't diagnose kids with, uh, you know, but that's what she looks like she's going to have based on what I'm saying. I hope to God I'm wrong. I hope she comes out and grows up to be an emotionally, financially healthy person, spiritually healthy. You know, I, that's what I hope and I pray that if she lives to see adulthood, that she comes out as normal as can be. But if that video is any indication, there seems to be instability in her childhood. When she first opened the gift and she was upset, you could tell her mom was frustrated with her because she didn't get the reaction she thought she was going to get. And then she tells her, you know, Milan, open, open the rest of the gift. So before, <laughs> as soon as she shows any, you know, feeling that's negative is not what her mom wanted from her. You know, she disregards that and tells the little girl, well, open the other gift. And it's just more of the same. This isn't a present for me. Buying a onesie and putting it in a, in a bag and saying, this is for you. We have a present for you, especially with the way, you know, the oldest child, especially the oldest girls are always parentified. It, that's okay. So that's the first thing is that she's not married to this man. There is nothing stopping that man from walking out the door at any point if he doesn't want to have anything to do with her or that baby. And what is that going to say to the little girl? I, I think parents don't think about this stuff sometimes. You already have one, one child, and for whatever reason, she's not with that child's dad. So the child is not growing up in her own house with her own father. Then get pregnant by this other man, and I don't know if y'all caught it or not, but he said you know, something like this is a bad case of only child syndrome. And I am an only child. I'm my mother's only child. That baby didn't, uh, the, the, peer, the, the pregnancy she had didn't last. It, you know, she miscarried or something. Or ecoptic pre pregnancy, whatever it's called. Um, so I'm my mother's only child. I grew up as an only child. I don't think what that little girl is feeling or is expressing is a, an issue of her being an only child. I think she's expressing that there's some lack of stability even if it's emotional in her life for a kid her age to have that kind of response it's like you know there's something else going on there and while I do not have human kids um I think growing up in the kind of unstable childhood that I did grow up in I like to kind of serve as a there's a quote one of my favorite quotes that says if you can't be a good example be a terrible warning so I like to serve as a terrible warning for parents who make these decisions and think or hope or pray that everything's going to turn out fine. So you're not married to the, the kid that's already here, her father. Now you're pregnant by a different man. And there's no guarantee that this man is going to be in your life a year from now. And I know there are people who are going to say, well, there's no guarantee if they get married that he's going to stick around either. I understand that. But marriage is a contract. If he walks away, she has recourse. It's a social contract. Having a baby by some man that is, you know, the, he's the father of this would-be kid, but not of the one there. And then he tells your, your, you that your daughter is having an only child response. How do you think he's treating her? How do you think he's going to treat her if he ever deigns to marry you? We give men babies before they give us marriage, and that makes absolutely no sense to me. Um... So when the, the girl starts spiraling and she says, you know, you know, I, basically I'm going to die before my sister dies and you're not going to love me anymore. And are you really having a kid? Am I overreacting? Pinch me. Am I dreaming? <sighs> Y'all, there's OK. So one of the the there's about eight kind of protocols in having BPD, borderline personality disorder. And one of them is a, a, a fear of abandonment. Most people that have BPD get it because of their environment. It's, it's, a, it's a nurture thing, not a nature thing. 
They were brought up with a lot of instability. So they have a fear of abandonment. You know, that's not my daughter. It's not my situation. But I do think that that little girl probably needs to be in therapy. I think that man needs to marry that woman. The pregnancy might be too far along for her to terminate. It's her body, her choice. She might not even be in a state where they can terminate. But this is what I mean about making good decisions about who you procreate with and making good decisions for your children. You can't tell me that what she's doing is going to be good for her daughter. You know, now if her and that man were married and they had been married and there had been some stability there and she's announcing that to her daughter, I, I maybe would have a different point of view. But from what I understand, absolutely not. So it, it saddens me because, you know, here's a little black girl that at whatever her tender age is, you can just already see she's, you know, it's just not a good setup. Um, ladies, think twice about having kids outside of marriage, especially if you already have a kid. And especially if it's by a different man. I think it's especially all of them. Don't, you know, use protection. If that man is not willing and able and has married you, don't bear his seed. He doesn't deserve that. You know, I, I wish there had been people around to tell the women of my generation that when they were younger. You know, a lot of them have these kind of miserable lives and 20 years later they're saying well nobody told me I didn't know having not having kids was an option you know just we got to do better y'all